Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about Valorant and its effect on the CSGO marketplace. So if you haven't already heard, Riot Games, the creators of League of Legends, are actually creating an FPS game called Valorant, which many people think is going to rival CSGO. But before this video begins guys, I urge you to check out skinbay.com. It's a legitimate marketplace site for CSGO skins. It has CSGO skins at very cheap prices and also has a very clean UI that you can use to navigate all around the site and buy all those great skins. If you do decide to go check out skinbay, be sure to use my link in the description below that will give me a nice little bit of support for all of your purchases anyway guys i really appreciate you and let's get into this video the first discussion point that i want to talk about is valorant actually going to even impact csgo's player base depending on what kind of game it is for example and honestly, with looking at all of the Valorant footage that we currently have, which to be honest isn't a whole ton, but we do have a decent amount of it to get a general idea of how the game functions, I will say that Valorant and CSGO are far too different of games in order to compare them. Obviously, I'm not huge into the FPS games, I don't, you know, obviously have a very high rank in CSGO or anything like that, but I do think, based on the footage that I've seen, that Valorant more closely resembles something like Overwatch, where it's more of a hero-based shooter, rather than CSGO, where it's more of just a gunplay, strategic, and kind of try hard shooter. A lot of the reason why people like CSGO so much and not so much Overwatch in comparison to CSGO is because Overwatch features heroes that have abilities and those can obviously offset the meta and can also offset the gameplay in general, which can a lot of the time be pretty unfair. And if you've played Overwatch enough, you know that there are a lot of ultimates in the game that are pretty overbalanced and are really hard to balance correctly, so it's not something that can be changed very easily. With CSGO, you don't really have to worry about that. The only thing that can come into a true problem is the guns themselves, but because everybody has equal access to them for the most part, then it doesn't really end up being too much of a problem. Valorant obviously doesn't have as extreme of abilities as something like Overwatch does. You can easily tell that based on the footage itself. A lot of the abilities do resemble things in CSGO. For example, one of the characters named Jet has a smokescreen ability that does resemble a smoke grenade that's in CSGO. However, that's kind of where this main crossroads appears. CSGO is a very strategic focused, gunplay focused game. It's not so much ability focused pretty much at all. There are obviously grenades in CSGO, but their impact on the overall game is not as extreme as something like Overwatch and also Valorant. Valorant actually has pretty impactful abilities if you watch the early footage. For example, there's an ability that a specific character can only have, where they can actually shoot up into the air and jump onto higher places. This essentially acts like a boost in CSGO, except you only need one person to do it, so it is a pretty extreme impactful impact on the game as a whole. There's also another ability that was from some earlier footage in Valorant where a character could actually place a wall that only they could see through. It was a one-way wall, which essentially gave them what would be wall hacks in CSGO. To be honest, I don't think CSGO players are going to be too fond of that idea. I mean, based on what I've seen already in the CSGO community, many people were not very fond of the idea of a wall hacks ability, so clearly there is a lot of controversy on this alone. Simply put, I would say the games just at the very least are not comparable. CSGO is just an entirely different focused game. It is still an FPS like Valorant, but it's such an interesting and unique FPS that nobody's really going to be able to replicate in any form. I mean, the game's been out for like 20 plus years now, and obviously no one's been able to replicate it in pretty much any form whatsoever. People have tried, of course, but nothing's really going to get that really hardcore, try-hard gunplay mechanics that only CSGO has. So in this discussion point, and obviously that's the main discussion point for the Valorant versus CSGO thing, I think Valorant is only going to really be in competition with Overwatch because the abilities are just simply too impactful for the average CSGO player to enjoy. Now, Valorant actually doesn't have a marketplace, which means there's not going to be a direct competition between a CSGO marketplace and a Valorant marketplace. Valorant does, however, have skins in the game. However, if you've seen the early pictures of those skins, they're not that great. They're actually really underwhelming. However, I can't show those on video because I believe they were actually taken down and they were an unofficial leak, so that's kind of why I'm not going to put it in the video, just because I don't want to get this taken down for copyright. So I would say when it comes to direct market competition, there's actually going to be none whatsoever, not even a slight amount, because CSGO is going to just essentially still have a monopoly on it. There are other game marketplaces out there for FPS games, but as we know, they're not as successful, not even close. Now what about Valorant's release? Is that going to impact CSGO's player base? I think that it's pretty dumb to say that it won't impact CSGO's player base. I mean, it's one of the most anticipated FPS games that we've seen in a very long time now, so I think that at least for a brief period of time, people are going to be playing Valorant quite a lot. I think for about a week or two, when a lot of those new players that just wanted to try out the game and don't really care about it in depth 
are probably going to switch back to CSGO afterwards. I don't think they're going to stay in the game for pretty much any time whatsoever. I think the player base impact is going to be significant, but it's not going to be anything to really sweat over. It's not going to be like killing CSGO in the first week that it's released. I do think that there's still going to be a lot of people playing CSGO just because it's such a beloved game that's been around for such a long time. There are going to be those hardcore players that don't give a single care about Valorant and are going to continue playing CSGO. I think after the initial two week period where there's a lot of people that are just trying out the game, there's going to be the regular spike that we're seeing in CSGO players and regular player based growth that we've been seeing for a long time now. As a whole, I don't think Valorant can compete with CSGO in terms of the fields that they're in and the development progress that they're taking, and I also think that alone on the graphics, which are two completely different styles, there are people out there that will choose CSGO over Valorant simply because of the graphic style. I think what it boils down to is that CSGO is going to see a significant drop in their players when Valorant first comes out, but in the long Long term, it's not going to have any sort of overall effect and CSGO is going to continue growing in players like normal. Now on to the CSGO marketplace specifically. I think it's pretty dumb to say there's not going to be some sort of an impact. I think we're going to see a very short impact on CSGO in-game prices, but I think that they're not going to be significant enough for most regular players to even notice. I think there's going to be a slight drop simply because a lot of players may be panic selling or switching over to Valorant, but I think after that skin prices are going to normalize as always and only go up. I also think that it's possible that we'll see absolutely no impact whatsoever on the CSGO marketplace simply because, as we all know, we're in a huge coronavirus pandemic that the entire world is facing right now, a significant economic recession. But obviously, CSGO prices haven't been affected at all. They've been pretty stable because they're a pretty good store of value, sort of like gold, where they're a little bit more stable than a dollar because they're attached to an in-game item that people can actually play with. Obviously, I don't think CSGO skins are as stable as the dollar, that's dumb, but I do think that they are a better store of value. If a global pandemic isn't going to crash the CSGO market, I don't think Valorant's going to be able to either. So that's my opinion on all of this. I don't want to drag this video on for a full 10 minutes just to get ad revenue. I don't care about that. I'm simply here to educate you guys and have a discussion on this topic because I know a lot of you were requesting it. So that's my overall opinion. I think CSGO is not going to be affected, in the marketplace at least, in any sort of a significant way. I also don't think the player base is going to be affected, but clearly my opinion doesn't matter as much on that note because I'm not very huge into CSGO matchmaking and trying to get a huge rank or anything like that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you do disagree with me on anything, be sure to leave a comment below. I will have civil discussions with people. Obviously if you're being mean, not going to respond to you. You're not going to be very helpful or educational to anybody in terms of the discussion. Thank you for taking time out of your day to come check out this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this in the future, or if you want to see more content on investments, you're going to get the best investment tips faster than anybody else on YouTube by subscribing to my channel. Furthermore, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and you want to, you know, have a good discussion on Valorant vs. CSGO, and be sure to check out the Discord and Twitter below, and also my Skin Bay link if you want to support the channel. I want to really go ahead and thank you guys for 5k subscribers, it's just an absolutely insane goal that we reached, and it never would have happened without you guys out there supporting me through thick and thin. Anyway, thanks again for checking out this video, and I will see you all next time. Peace.